Hello and welcome to our Advent series here at Cross Point Church. My name is Austin. I have the pleasure of serving here on staff. And our Advent series this year is going to be titled very simply, Joy. And that's really what Christmas is all about. It's definitely what the Advent season is all about. You know, it's not just about the joy of presents. It's not just about the joy of decorations. It's not just about the joy of family, although you can be joyful for all those things. Where the true joy of Christmas, though, comes from is who Jesus is and the fact that he has come. And that's what Advent means. We say it every year. Advent literally means the coming of something. So we are celebrating during the Advent season leading up to Christmas the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. You know, last year we did these videos and we used our pastor's Advent book called uh, The 25 Days of Christmas. And this year we're going to switch it up a little bit and we're going to use another uh, very short Advent book that I think is so helpful. Uh, And there's two reasons that we chose this book this year. Number one is it's written by John Piper. And honestly, I just think it's really, really good. I think there will be some truths that you take away that are just really helpful to you and your family during this Advent season. But secondly, and helpful to you as a church, is that this resource is absolutely free. I've got the book sitting here in front of me. um, But if you'll click the link on any of the videos that we send out during this Advent season, uh, you are able to download a free resource of this book by John Piper. And so hopefully that will just put the resource into the hands of more of you so that you can follow along every single day as we send out these videos. The book is titled The Dawning of Indestructible Joy. And so now you know where we got our title from, Simply Joy. And I want to read something for you. I, I of course, am going to do day one of our Advent videos today, uh, but we want to kind of set up the book a little bit. Um, I'm a preface guy. I'm an introduction guy. I'm a conclusion guy. I love to read the entire book. A lot of you are not the same. We've got some staff people who make fun of me for that. But I want to read you two very quick uh, quotes from the preface of uh, this book that kind of sets up what we're going to be doing here with Advent. And John Piper first was talking about uh, the fact that you're not really going to learn probably anything new in this book. Now, don't run away now. Uh, What he's saying is sometimes with Advent, with Easter, with the Lord's Supper, with all these things in our Christian faith, what's most important is that we're reminded of these things over and over and over again. He says this on page eight. He says, what you and I usually need is not a brand new teaching. Brand new truths are probably not truths at all. He says, what we need are reminders about the greatness of old truths. You know, Jesus came 2,000 years ago to earth to save us from our sins, and that has not changed in the 2,000 years since. But every single year that we get to the Christmas time, we get to Advent time, and you open up your Bible and you read all these passages, uh, it ought to elicit joy in you just like it did the first time that you heard it. And when we talk about why John Piper's book is called The Dawning or the Coming of Indestructible Joy, he says this. He said, I have called Christmas and this little book The Dawning of Indestructible Joy because the joy Jesus was bringing into the world was like no other kind in history. So that leads us into day one of our Advent series here at Crosspoint, and it is titled The Search and Save Mission. This comes from Luke chapter 19, verse 10, and it's a very famous verse, one you've heard before, and it says, for the Son of Man came to seek and to save the lost. You know, we we read that verse, and I always think of, you know, these, uh, you know, I, I love movies. We think of these movies, military movies, special ops movies, where there's someone taken prisoner, there's a group of people that are held hostage, and what the military runs is a search and rescue mission right? A search and rescue mission. And Jesus has done the same thing. The the cool thing about those movies is never in those movies do they say that person needs to be rescued. So we're going to sit back and we're just going to hope that somebody takes care of it. Now, what you see the military doing is that person needs to be rescued. So we're going to formulate a plan. We're going to go and we are going to rescue them. And you see the obvious parallel here with Jesus and what God has done for you and for me is that he has, God is not passive, right? God does not look back and see the sin in your life and say, man, something needs to be done, but I hope someone else will do it. God sent his son on purpose and proactively 
to this earth for the sole purpose of dying for your sins and dying for my sins. And what that should give us is this unbelievable sense of joy, right? It should give you so much joy that you know that this God that the entire Bible is about, that all of life centers around, this God cares about you individually, cares about me individually. It's just, every time I talk about it, it just gives me so much joy. And what I hope is that throughout the next, you know, 24 Advent videos that you keep in your mind that idea of joy and what it looks like to be truly joyful and thankful for what Jesus has done for us and which we celebrate in this Christmas season. Would you pray with me? God, thank you for this opportunity to sit, Lord, and uh, to talk to our church, uh, as, as so many will do the next uh, three weeks, Lord, uh, just to be able to sit and talk about you, God, to talk about your son. Um, God, we are so thankful. Uh, we are overwhelmed. We are uh, so grateful for what Jesus has done for us, Lord. We know that we don't deserve it, and Lord, that elicits in us so much joy knowing that you've given us something that we do not deserve. Lord, I pray that <laughs> throughout these uh, next 24 Advent videos, Lord, that the people of our church will be able to sit and watch them and that they will uh, be able to be led during this Advent season to keep their eyes on the true reason for this season, which is Jesus, Lord. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for joining us for day one of our Advent videos. We'll see you tomorrow for day two.